Hey guys, my name is Boris. I'm a board certified physician assistant. And I was actually just at Trader Joe's. And that reminded me of the day before my pants. So I thought I would uh, tell you guys a story, about a five minute story about the night before my pants, how I prepared, not like all the weeks leading up to the pants, because obviously that's a lot of studying, that's a lot of practicing, but just the night before my pants, the ritual, what I actually ended up doing right before the pants. For those of you preparing for the pants and yours might be coming up, I don't know, the next few days, the next couple of weeks, this might help you just to kind of, you know, put yourself in my shoes, put yourself in the place of being, you know, ready for the pants coming up the next day. Just, uh, I don't know, it might help. I just remember right before my pants, I was so nervous that I was just watching all kinds of videos just like this. Uh, just basically where people share their experiences, how it was, what they did. And like, just kind of seeing that over and over again, I don't know, it just kind of helps you with your nerves. And so you don't just see it as much of a big deal. You just see that other people have gone through it. They've lived through it. They're fine. They're on the other side. So either way, the night before my pants, what did I do? I went to Trader Joe's. That's why this reminded me of that. And I got all my snacks, all my drinks, all my stuff just prepared because I knew that there's six sections and that you get to take a break after every single section. Some people are freaking crazy or they're on like Adderall or something and they just plow through all five hours, all six sections uh, without taking a break. Or they might do two, three, four sections in a row and then take a break. I knew that I don't have that kind of stamina, emotionally, mentally, whatever. I knew that I wanted to take a break, my five minutes after every single section, or I think it might be 10 minutes, but I took like five minutes just to be safe. Uh, so I knew that after every single section, I was gonna take a quick bathroom break, have a snack, and have something to drink, usually water, or maybe some caffeine, some coffee. So what I did the night before the pants is I went to Trader Joe's, I got myself some snacks. I got myself some trail mix, a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of nuts, just kind of keeps you, first off, it's really good, makes you happy, and also just keeps you full for that entire time. So you don't get hungry, you don't have like a sugar high, sugar crash afterwards. It's just nice, consistent uh, nutrition. So lots of fat from the nuts in the trail mix. Uh, the protein kind of keeps things digesting slowly so you're satiated, uh, but you still get that enjoyment from the chocolate, from the sugar, but it's not like a big spike, like, you know, from, a, <clears throat> from like a candy bar or something. So that's, uh, that was my snack of choice, trail mix. I also got some alkaline water just because I'm kind of a hippie and I just freaking believe in the alkaline stuff. So I got the alkaline water. I also got a big coffee that morning, nice hot coffee from Dunkin' or Starbucks or something. Oh no, it was Starbucks. It was Starbucks because I remember them telling me good luck. And they, they actually wrote that on the cop. I remember that. Cause I told the girl at the drive-thru, yeah, I'm about to take a big test. You know, that's why I'm getting this coffee. And you know, she wrote good luck right on my cup, which was adorable. Uh, thank you very much to the Starbucks in Mayfield Heights, Ohio, where I took the test. But so yeah, uh, so I got big coffee. I got a big thing of alkaline water and I got my trail mix. And I, I think I got a couple bananas too. Yeah, two bananas. And so I was just ready. I put myself mentally in that place. Like I'm gonna sit at this computer. I'm gonna knock out my you know 60 question, uh, 60 question segment. And then cool, that's it. I get to take a bathroom break, get to take some deep breaths, get to stretch it out you know, do some stretches, get to have my snack, have my little bag of trail mix, have a couple of sips of water, just feel really good, and then go back into the next section. And then, you know, you repeat that five times and you're done. That's it, you're done. So it's not this big six hour massive exam that's just really, really uh, like daunting and scary and all this effort. It's this big 300 question thing. It's not like that. You don't think of it that way. You think of it as cool. It's 60 questions. I've done 60 questions. 60 questions is nothing. 60 questions. And then I get to enjoy a snack. I get to have a drink. I get to stretch. I get to go to the bathroom. I get to chill, you know, whatever. Sit down for a minute, stand up, do some jumping jacks, whatever makes me feel good. That's it. I just do 60 questions. It's nothing. And then, you know, it's a nice break. I enjoy myself. And then 60 questions again. And then another break. Then you enjoy yourself. You know, so just think of it that way. It's not this big test. It's not this big deal. It's not your entire future that you've been preparing for, for in my case, 10 years. Uh, if you don't pass, you know, you don't get to be a provider and make money and, you know, live your life. Uh, it's not that. All it is, is 60 questions. And then you have your snack. And then it's just another 60 questions. And then you have a snack. And then it's another 60 questions. Then you have a snack. Rinse, recycle, repeat. And by the end of it, you're like, wow, that was nothing. That was okay. And I got to enjoy some trail mix. 
Now I'm nervous because now I have to wait for the results. But that's another question and another video and a whole different thing. But anyway, guys, that's what I did the night before my pants. I was not studying. I totally took my mind off of things. I went to Trader Joe's. I picked out the best trail mix that I could find. I had a great snack, uh, just ready to go. And I was just kind of excited about, uh, about the test because I get to have this awesome snack. You know, how often do you get to have trail mix? I don't have it very often. I love it, but it makes you get fat. So I don't have it very often. I was looking forward to the pants. I was looking forward to the pants because I get to have my favorite snack. And so that's really it. Break it down into little digestible chunks, 60 question chunks, and then just have your break. All right, guys, hopefully that helps somebody. I'll see you in the next video.